So now the one thing left to do is to send out who, I guess, this was what I, what I was planning on using against the Venusaur anyway. Sort of hoping for a grass attack here. Giga Drain! Okay! <laughs> Wish granted, I guess. So, e only 11 damage. Wow! That did absolutely nothing, level advantage or not. So, now let's see, am I going to be faster? Yeah, I am! Which is surprising because who isn't exactly a speed demon by uber standards. Anyway, Venusaur will probably be going down. Hopefully. Yeah, where's your level advantage now, huh? Okay, now we have uh, Lapras left as well as Charizard, if I've been keeping count well. So, okay, Lapras. So I guess this is going to be uh, take two of the climactic clash of the Laprases. Now with that paralysis, I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to win one-on-one, -on -one, but I can still do as much damage as possible, soften it up for a Raikou to kill. Body slam once again as um, water moves uh, will, will hit water absorb and ice moves won't do anything at all. So, let's see now. Thunderbolt puts it in the yellow. Okay. I'm going to go... I, I, I can survive one more hit. I'm absolutely certain of that so let's uh, see where th that thunderbolt is gonna take us body slam leave me with nothing critical it's the exact same thing as what happened against lance's charizard earlier on don't i ever learn but then again there's no way to account for criticals in a strategy really those yeah, those will fuck you up whenever you think you're safe but at the same time, you're never fully safe from a critical, so I don't have any regrets about that happening. And I don't have any regrets about that happening for the simple reason that had that Thunderbolt connected, it would have ended up in the red, and uh, I would have had to deal with a full restore. So, Charizard, last Pokemon, once again. It, ha it happened in the all but two battles it was involved in, which, funnily, funnily enough. So... Took down a level 68 Charizard earlier on. Flare Blitz! I was about to say, can I take on a level 84 Charizard? And apparently the answer is yes, because Flare Blitz didn't do a whole lot. Stone Edge connects, and given Tyranitar's immense attack power, despite the level disadvantage, that should be more than enough for the KO. And it is! Red has officially gone down, and it was a lot easier than I expected. BLUE WAS EASIER THAN RED! What the hell? Everything I know is wrong! Anyway, there are a few more things to cater to before this LP is over, so I guess I will see you wherever. We're in Saffron City right now. Uh, first thing to do, I'm going to uh, deposit two Pokémon in the PC box because I'm about to receive two gift Pokémon, and unlike in Generation 1, which was the only generation that did it right, oddly enough, uh, gift Pokémon don't go in the box instantly for some reason. Game Freak, Generation 6, this is your opportunity to make things right again. Anyway, we're going to be heading over to uh, the Sylph Tower, because uh, someone very special is waiting for us there. Steven Stone, who's on the phone, apparently. Uh, I don't know who he's talking to or what this is about. This is probably just some random banter to make him look like all important and shit. But uh, yeah, another reference to uh, the battles he fought against the player characters in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And uh, the reason why I'm here is because he is going to give me one of the three Hoenn starters. Let's say that he has stones in front of you. Which color would you pick? Pick the color of the starter you want. I chose the red stone. So I'm going to get a Torchic for my troubles. Now, this isn't all that you can do with Steven. No, I'm not going to give it a, a nickname. I don't know where he got those starters, but oh well, he's from Hoenn. He's probably in a better position than anyone else in the entire game to get these. So, now that Silver, uh, Silver, Steven, sorry, is gone, um, we're gonna head to Pewter City, to the museum, because there, uh, there are a few more things involving Steven, including the, 
including the the Enigma Stone event that uh, is, uh, of course, only obtainable by an event, so I can't do it here. I'm not going to show it to you, but uh, Steven is going to be hanging out in the museum. And, okay, all those shining stars at night are the stones I'll never get to know. Okay, so he's just looking at exhibits. This, if you want to see uh, other stuff happen with Steven, you have to come here first, uh, by the way. So, uh, now, you want to head back to the Sylph Tower, and he's going to offer you a trade. I'm not going to uh, partake in it. Especially since I probably don't even have the Pokemon that he's asking for in the first place. But uh, I'm, I, ju I just want to show it to you to show you that it is indeed there. So let's talk to Steven. Have you been to Hoenn before? It's such a beautiful place with the clearest ocean you can imagine. And if you want to see all of Hoenn, you gotta surf on every last square inch of it. Why don't we trade Pokemon? He's been looking for Fortress trade my Beldum for it. I'm sort of surprised that he didn't want to get rid of his special sweeping Agron of Doom because it sucks so badly, but oh well. Uh, Metagross is his signature Pokemon after all, so it makes sense that he would want to trade you a Beldum. Now, we're done with Steven, so we can head back to Pallet Town because we're going to be getting the Kanto starters this time. Nope, oh, wrong building. This is over at the Professor Oak's lab if you want to go. By the way, I can't stress this enough. If you want the Hoenn and Kanto starters, you need to have beaten Red first. Okay, I heard a lot about you. Your Pokedex must be close to complete. Just give me my starter and send me on my way, okay? Okay, there we go. I'd like to give you something. And, uh, yeah, we got three Pokeballs on the table over there in the most, in the most pure, classic, old-school style ever. And you know what? I feel like picking Charmander today. Nah, 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 I'm just kidding. You know me too well. I would never, ever sell my soul to the failed dragon. So, we got Charmander. Nope. Next up, we have Squirtle. Nope, not good enough either. Ah, now we're talking Bulbasaur, and they're even in the same order as in Red, Blue, and Yellow. When I said uh, in the most pure, old-school style imaginable, they uh, they put it all the way to having them on the same in the same order as on the table in Red, Blue, and Yellow, instead as in the Pokedex order or something. Um. He's talking to me like I'm starting out on an. Ad oh, okay. I figured as much. This is just this is just a little joke that the game designers decided to throw in. Now, one last thing left to do. Now that we got the starters, you want to head over to Mr. Pokemon's house just north of Cherry Grove because he is going to be giving you. Um, Depending on the game you're playing, in Soul Silver he's going to give you the red orb, and in Hard Gold he's going to give you the blue orb. Those are the same orbs from uh, the Hoenn Legends in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and they're related to Kyogre and Groudon, of course. So I just got the red orb, so now what I have to do, I have to head over to... Uh, the, to the, the cliff area past Cyanwood that was newly added in this game. And there's a place called the Embedded Tower in that cliff area that requires, um, requires rock climb to get to, so we haven't gone there yet. And besides, even if you could go there, you still need the blue orb or the red orb in order to be able to do anything there. So, let's... Okay, the Embedded Tower is past Sign Woods somewhere in the cliff cave, or so I heard, or so I remember, or so I believe. Well, believing is not enough. Is it there or is it not? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it is there. The, it, it, I don't think it, an NPC in an RPG like that would ever send you on a, on a wild goose chase telling you that something is there when it's really not. Especially uh, Bad guys, maybe, but not some uh, random guy like uh, Mr. Pokemon. So, now that uh, we are over there, we can adjust our team a little. I'm going to be needing B barrel, so I'm just gonna get rid of Torchic and Bulbasaur, which is modest! Freaking awesome! Anyway, let's use uh, Lugia and let's use B barrel. 
Raikou's going to be staying here because it's clearly the most useless Pokemon in a in a battle against a ground type such as Groudon. Oh, shut up, Arnie, will you? So, now, uh, I guess I could have uh, gone to Sinewood since uh, it's faster that way, and if you, if you... If you want to do this, it's a bit faster if you come from Cyanwood. However, the two bozos that are glitch... Whoa! Wait a minute! What's Crash Awake doing here? Okay, let's see what he wants. You must be a trainer from this region, right? I hope you'll become a trainer with the qualities of water. Strong, tough to beat, yet refreshing. Um... Okay... That was pointless! But, uh, yeah, the, the two glitched bozos are still there blocking the path, so I have no choice but to, to uh, go, uh, but to come from the Safari Zone instead. Anyway, you want to head all the way down there, and if I encounter wild Pokémon, I'm just going to run away from them, because at this point, getting the experience from them is entirely pointless, since the only thing left to do in this LP is uh, catching Groudon. Now... This LP is coming to an end very quickly. Next video is going to be the last one. What a coincidence. It's, it's going to have taken the same amount of videos as uh, Platinum. But uh, I digress. Uh, I really wanted to make some sort of awesome, you know, closing speech since this is the end of Pokemon LPs on this channel, at least until Grey comes out in uh, North America. But I just... You know, I, ju I just can't find the words. It's, um, I guess I'm going to post about it on my blog later on, but for now, I'm just... This is... Th this is actually, honestly, a bit difficult for me uh, right now. So I know there's an item over there, so I'm just going to head over there, see what I can get for it. And we got a Wave Incense, which is used to breed some baby Pokémon or another. I don't know which one, and I don't care either, because baby Pokémon are trash. Anyway, here we go, guys. This is going to be the end next time. Here it is, the Mighty Groudon.